Fans have already arrived in San Francisco, where Super Bowl City is packed. Last night, Chris Isaac rocked the fan village. Today, fans enjoyed jazz and gospel music. But the bigger party today was in Santa Clara, where fans in the South Bay are kicking off their week-long Super Bowl party. ABC 7 News reporter Sergio Quintana is live at Mission College with more. Sergio? Well, Eric, since most of those festivities are going to be hosted at Super Bowl City in San Francisco, this special fireworks display and free concert is a special treat for Santa Clara residents. Sisters Anne and Nancy Wilson, the front women of heart, braved a cold and windy afternoon for this special event held just blocks away from Levi Stadium. Santa Clara residents were able to get two free tickets by logging onto the city's website. This is a much smaller event than the massive Super Bowl city that's built in San Francisco's Embarcadero and Financial District. Some people told me they're excited to have the Super Bowl in their own backyard, but they do wish they could afford tickets to actually go to the game next Sunday. I did talk to one South Bay resident who will be at that game. You didn't pay for a ticket. I didn't have to. I want to work the game and see it too. I'm going to walk to the stadium from where I live. Oh. And I can't wait. I don't have tickets, but I'm going to walk there and just enjoy the, my time with me and my family as well. Now, this is one of several musical events. It's part of the run up to Super Bowl 50, but most public events, as we mentioned, will be in San Francisco at Super Bowl City. Here in the South Bay, there will be a few events through the week, beginning with Media Day tomorrow, especially now that all the players have arrived here in the Bay Area. This fireworks display was launched right after Hart finished up with their concert. Reporting live in Santa Clara, I'm Sergio Quintana, ABC 7 News. All right, thanks a lot, bud.